Do you gain weight over the holidays every year? Do you eat your favorite holiday foods like it's your last chance? Well, hit that like button and I'll tell you how you can enjoy your favorite holiday foods, nothing is off limits, without overeating and gaining weight. Hi, I'm Sherry, and I'm a mind-body weight coach for foodies. I am passionate about helping women lose weight without dieting by teaching them how to eat consciously and stop emotional eating so you can enjoy the foods you love while permanently losing your desire to overeat along with any excess weight. Now, we're now entering the holiday season. And whether you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Festivus, New Year's, whatever, you're likely to celebrate with all kinds of delicious food. Maybe you only prepare and eat certain of these foods during the holidays. But do you tend to overeat during the holidays and then gain weight and then make a resolution <laughs> to go on a diet after New Year's Day? For most of my life, I routinely overate and gained weight over the holidays. And despite my resolution to lose the weight after New Year's, that didn't happen. My weight just kept going up. I bet that approach hasn't worked for you either. And it won't work this year. Diets just don't produce long-term weight loss. So I encourage you to never go on another one. Nowadays, I enjoy the holiday foods I love without gaining weight. There's a much better way to enjoy these foods so that you don't feel like a stuffed turkey. In fact, it's cool to be the only one at the Thanksgiving table who doesn't overeat and feel really uncomfortable after the meal. I don't feel deprived one bit either. In fact, I feel so much better. And let's talk about how you can do that too. Do you think any of these thoughts about holiday eating, I only get to eat, fill in your favorite holiday food on, insert holiday here, so I'd better get my fill of it, or there are so many tempting foods around, how can I resist? Or I can't waste this, so I'd better finish what's on my plate. Or after the holidays, I'll go on a diet. Or I deserve to eat this. Now, what is wrong with this kind of thinking? It comes from a mindset of scarcity. And if you wanna stop overeating and gaining weight during the holidays, the most important step is to change your mindset from one of scarcity to one of abundance. In fact, this mindset shift is crucial. Here's what I mean. Has there been a time in the past few years where you didn't have enough food to eat? Is there a shortage of delicious food in your life on a regular basis? Well, I'm guessing that the answer to both of these questions is no. Chances are you can buy or prepare delicious food anytime, day or night, 24-7 in many places. You probably don't have to go far for takeout or gourmet shops, fast food, bakeries, coffee shops, or other sources of sustenance. Perhaps you have lots of great stuff in your house right now. Well, if that's the case, you live in a world with an abundance of good food. There's no scarcity for you. So why do you approach holiday feasts like they might be your last meal? What if you approach the holidays with a different mindset? Like what if you thought, there is so much good food in my life on a regular basis, and the holidays are just another opportunity to eat delicious things. I am going to savor my favorite holiday foods without overeating them. I'm gonna be selective because I deserve only the best stuff. I also deserve to feel great, and I don't feel very good when I'm stuffed. So adopt this abundance mindset and use the following guidelines to enjoy holiday deliciousness without gaining weight. Number one, give yourself permission to eat the foods you love when you're hungry. And that last part is so important because if you eat when you aren't hungry, your body will store that energy as fat. So if you've got a dinner or a party one day, that might require a little planning so that you arrive hungry, but not too hungry because when you're too hungry, you're less discerning about what to eat. And never eat before you go to arrive full with the idea that you simply won't eat. That's a terrible diet brain strategy, and it's no fun, and more often than not, it backfires and you eat anyway. Willpower is a very 
unreliable tool for weight management. Number two, eat slowly and reduce distractions when you're eating so you can savor every scrumptious bite. Now remember, you're eating these foods because they taste great, so don't miss out on the flavor. You can take a few moments from the conversation to really savor your food. And that way, you'll also notice when your body has had enough food before you're too full. Learning how to really taste your food while engaging in conversation is a skill, and it does take practice. Number three, stop eating before you feel full. You'll enjoy the food and the celebration more without a case of indigestion afterwards. You may be eating richer foods than you normally eat, so keep checking in with your gut. I like to think about how much food I know my body normally needs to feel lightly full, and I put that amount onto my plate. And that way, if I want more, I have to think about it first. Number four, don't eat anything you don't love. Be discerning. Don't eat to please relatives. If you're not fond of your daughter's sweet potato casserole, she'll still love you if you don't take any. Don't cave to pressures by food pushers either. Check out the offerings and decide what you want most. You deserve only the best. Number five, if you do overeat, don't use it as an excuse to go bonkers and continue overeating through the holidays and beyond with that, what the heck, I already blew it attitude. Mistakes are part of learning, but don't let them totally derail your efforts. Remember your abundance mindset. There's no shortage of delicious food in your life, so you don't have to eat everything that's in front of you now. You can just wait until you're hungry again to have some of those great leftovers or to get something else yummy. Number six, plan ahead. Think about what you really love and what you could do without. Number seven, Visualize yourself at the party eating the way you plan to eat. And so just take a few minutes before you go or days before to picture yourself at the party taking a reasonable amount of food and enjoying it along with the conversation. See yourself eating slowly and not overeating. Your brain doesn't know the difference between what you experience in real life and what you visualize, so you're more likely to stick with the plan if you practice ahead of time. So I hope you're able to allow yourself to enjoy the foods of the holiday season without guilt. No one should feel guilty about eating. So have a fantastic holiday season and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for watching.